Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today we will be doing a little crafting and decorating these vintage bingo cards. I had picked up a bingo game at an antique shop several months ago and it came with several of the different colors. I think it was a red, green, and blue bingo cards. So I picked out the red ones and I'm making these altered bingo cards to go in my junk journals that I have in my Etsy shop so if you'd like to go check those out you can I will put the link down below and let's get started with this craft with me so what you will need are some bingo cards you can find these usually at thrift shops or antique shops you can also print them offline or online from um, you can just Google vintage bingo card or bingo cards and there are several places that you can print them out so if you don't have any actual ones then you can print them out on cardstock and they'll look just as fun so grab those i have a couple vintage valentine pieces these were also a kit i'd found i think it was at a swap meet but they're old it was an old Valentine kit to make your Valentine's and these were some of the pieces that were in it so I have those and then I have my little goodie kit here with all my all my Valentine items I have some trims some buttons some glitter washi tape these little hearts there some die cuts things I won't use those but then I have some heart doilies. Also I have my hole punch, I have some tacky glue, scissors, and then optionally you can do stitching with your sewing machine. That is what I did on this. I just sewed the trim down here but that is not necessary and I won't be doing that for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. You start with your bingo card here and I added some trim down here so I thought maybe I could use I have this trim here. It is felt trim that I picked up at the Target dollar spot. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down below and I kind of like how it comes off the edges. So I'm just going to leave a little bit on each side and trim it there. and use my tacky glue to glue it across the bottom. And you can put this wherever you want it. I'm gonna just do a similar layout as this one. Just a fun trim there. And then I'm going to use some of my heart washi. This was also from the Target dollar spot. It was from Christmas though. If you didn't have a chance to pick it up it's more of a like a vinyl sticker as opposed to a washi so I'm going to stick that across the top here And then next I'm going to glue a doily down and I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky glue just really lightly across. You can use a glue stick if you'd like, but I find this works just fine. And I'm going to use my finger and smush it around, just kind of smooth it out so I don't have those bumps from the glue. ahead and glue it down. I'll go this way this time. And then I have this cute little vintage heart there. I'm going to glue that right down in the center. And this other little piece Go like that. And then I'm going to 
punch a hole right at the top. This is a crocodile. if you don't have one of these. It's a great tool to have. I'll find a link for you and put that in the description box, but it is, it has two different size hole punches. You can adjust the depth of how far in you punch a hole. And then here is where if you have any eyelets, you can set your eyelets through this part right here. So now I think I have another piece of this fabric that I used, so I want to use that. And I'm just going to tie a simple knot through the hole here. It's just a quick, easy way to embellish a card. And now I'm going to glue on one of these heart-shaped wood buttons. And I will do that over on this side. Here it is, super cute and it took hardly any time at all. These are great to stick in junk journals as like a bookmark or just to slide it in a pocket and then you can put a picture on the back or journaling. So hope you like this really quick craft with me. Give me a thumbs up if you did, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Be sure to go check out my Etsy listing for these beautiful vintage junk journals that I just finished. And if you'd like to see the video flip through of those, I will have the link down below as well. Talk to you later. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.